Hello guys, recently I've encountered an interesting situation while using Laravel Forge which caused this video about Laravel validation. So interesting situation, how to deal with validation messages to make it more clear. So on Laravel Forge you can create a server and one of the fields is database name. So you can automatically create a database name. And I was creating a new server and specified a database name, for example, Laravel examples dash live, right? Everything else was default and let's create a server and see what happens. On the top, there is an error appearing. The database format is invalid. And this is a problem. As a user, I don't know what invalid means and what is valid. So I thought that probably the problem was in dash. And indeed it was true. When I changed that to underscore, the validation passed. But the validation message isn't actually anything useful to us. Format is invalid. So I decided to trace it down where it comes from and how can we change that to a better message in our own Laravel projects. So if we search for format is invalid in Laravel project, I have a new Laravel project here with just Laravel Breeze installed and I traced it down to the default validation PHP file in resources lang English. And there are attribute format is invalid messages in regex and not regex and also in the URL rule. But let's focus on regex. For example, we want to use regular expression for some of the fields, but the validation message wouldn't say anything about the correct format. So how do we customize that message? And for that, in registered users controller on Laravel Breeze, I've added this validation rule to the user name. So default registration form of Laravel Breeze, or it could be Jetstream, or it could be even Laravel UI, basically the registration form with name field, allowing only the letters and underscores, similar to my situation on Forge. And if I fill in with random things with space here, I register, and the validation error is the same. The name format is invalid. But what is valid? Of course, we can add some kind of a helper text here that the username should not contain spaces or something like that. But this message is better to have some more help or hints how to fix that message. So there are a few ways how you can do that. If you use request validate like this in Laravel Breeze, there is a second parameter, which is messages array. It's optional, but you can provide name. Then you want to override the message for which rule dot and then rule name, which is regex. And then you specify that name should contain only letters and underscore, for example, underscore symbol. And if we refresh our page, we fill in the form with space again, we register, and then we have our own validation message customized overriding the default Laravel validation message. If you use form requests, form request classes, it's a bit different. So let's generate a form request class, PHP artisan make request register user request, something like this. And then instead of general request, we will use register user request. And inside of that, we'll have the rules, this array. So these will be the rules. So I just cut and pasted to here. We need to use rules passwords. So we need to also copy from the controller, use rules here to the request. Okay, then it's not underlined, good. Also, we need to have authorize true changed. And now we don't need to have request validate here at all because it's validated by form request class, but this should be passed somewhere. Let's cut it in, in the form request classes, there is a method that you can specify also optional public function messages. And you just return the array that you want. So same parameters, but in form request, it's a method of messages. And let's see if we didn't break anything. We refresh the page, fill in the form, we register, and the same validation message, name should not contain any spaces. So these are the options how you can overwrite any in fact validation rule message from that validation file. You need to specify the field dot validation rule name from this one of these, and then you can override it with whatever you want. 
If you want more Laravel tips on this one, validation and other topics, subscribe to the channel. And also you can subscribe to my weekly newsletter, which I send every Thursday with Laravel tips from that week. Also from my YouTube channel, if you miss something, also community links, around 20 links every week. So I totally advise you to join 5,000 and more subscribers by this point and get the latest fresh things in Laravel world every Thursday. Now, see you guys on other videos.